Hey everyone, this is Nemo and welcome to another awesome video tutorial. So today we will see how to add multi-language attachments in PrestaShop 1.7. And I went ahead and I added some attachments here already. This is one of the uh, default products that uh, ship with PrestaShop 1.7. So as you can see, I uh, added them in a specific format. So what we're going to do is use the uh, language ISO append it with an underscore to the uh, title of the attachment and display it only when that specific language is selected. Now I also went ahead and added another attachment and this is going to be displayed for both languages in my store. We'll see how to handle that exception as well. Now if you don't know where to find the ISO code for your language, well you can hop to international localization and then click on languages and you will see it's listed right here in the table. Now let's get to it. I will hop to my front office office and you can see my all of my attachments are displaying here. So I will go ahead and open up themes, classic, templates, catalog, product.tpl. Now scroll down till you find this uh, if product attachments and bear in mind if you use a custom templates uh, template this uh, file might look different and it might have some uh, sub templates so the attachments part might not be in this file might be in another template just make sure you check that beforehand. So let's start adding some code here right where uh, right before it loops through the attachments, <clears throat> I want to add some code. So, lang checker is going to be an underscore, and we will concatenate this with the language dot ISO code, which represents the current ISO code. So basically we are targeting the, the part we appended to our attachment title. Then we're going to add an array and we'll use it for our exception later. So for now, lang checker array is going to be an array containing en and it. Now, of course, you want to add every ISO code for the languages you have in your shop for all of them. Then inside the loop, first what we want to do is actually add a, um, a check for this. So we want to display everything only if the conditions are met. And in our case, the condition is that the appended ISO code matches what is in the current language. So I will wrap all of this inside the for each into an if statement and if attachment dot name contain contains so a string string lang checker then I can display this and I think we can just go ahead save and see what happens in the front office so I will hard refresh, click attachments, and you can see EN is properly displayed. So if I switch to Italian now, Italian is displayed. Perfect. Now, uh, obviously, we do not want our customers to see this uh, underscore IT thing, underscore whatever thing is. Um, so we're going to remove it. Let's go back to our template and where it displays the name here in the H4, we want to replace, I would say replace lang checker with nothing. Save, refresh. And there it is. Perfect. Uh, now, of course, 
as a side note, make sure that uh, the name, uh, like if if it's some kind of uh, product code or something, does not contain the the ISO code of the language. If you're wondering if it whether it does or not, because you have uh, very weird, weirdly named attachments, I suggest using another type of string. You can add a pipe, you can add anything and just uh, make sure it matches in the code. Now, what happened to our other uh, attachment, the one without the ISO code in the name? Well, it's not being displayed ever since this condition checks for the, the ISO code to be present. So, we need, in this case, to add an exception. So let me add an else. And inside this, let me first define a new variable. So denier equals false. Now, for each from lang checker array item, uh, let's call it uh, checker lang and we don't need uh, we don't need the key nor the name so for each of these in the in this case two entities if the attachment and I should spell it properly attachment name actually let me just go ahead and copy it from here since it's easier and close the if so if the attachment name uh, contains not that but checker lang denier equals to true and basically what I'm doing here is sending a variable so that true sorry so that if um, the the attachment name contains either of these it will not be displayed. So basically, it's, it, I call it denier because it's going to deny the code from being displayed, prevent it from being displayed. Now, right after this for each, if the denier is still false, so basically we didn't find any of those ISO codes in the name, it means we can actually display what, uh, what we want to display. So I'll go ahead and simply copy and paste this and uh, well we wouldn't need to to replace anything but I think we can go ahead and save this and if I didn't do any mistake it should work yep that's it and just for the sake of completion let me check the English version yep that's perfect. So we're done. This is everything for today's video. I hope you found it useful. And if you did, please subscribe to the channel and follow the blog at nemops.com for other great Price Shop tutorials and tips. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.